Wir sind auf der IFA 2023, heute bei der Firma Willumsen und heute gibt es Prototypen, Prototypen, Prototypen. Hallo liebe Freundinnen und Freunde der Schafenklingen, hier ist wieder der Jens von der Messe Schmiede Kubisch in Nürnberg auf der IWA 2023. Wir sind heute bei der Firma, your company name is? Willemson Copenhagen. Ja, und er zeigt uns heute mal die Messer, die wir jetzt neu ins Programm aufnehmen, was wir so reinbekommen. Es gibt mal so einen Querschnitt von allen Messern, die er hat und wir schauen da mal, was wir für euch Süßes, Schönes mitbringen. So we're going to start off with the Ready. This is a, a very popular model of ours. So with the Ready, as far as steel, we're going with Sandvik 14C for its edge retention. We have the Axis Lock for a very positive, solid lockup, so the blade doesn't come back onto our hand. All of our folders have a ball bearing swivel, so that makes it very, very smooth. Yeah, it's f comfortable. Very comfortable. The handles are made of G10, and each one has a pocket clip, and when you purchase one, you actually get a second pocket clip that doesn't oh, okay. say ready. So you can either have this one, okay. or it just plain. And you can change the side. Yeah. Which one? You can change the side by yes. the clip, yes. So clip, you can change either side with, when you buy one in the box, you also get the Torx wrench that you fit this, so you could disassemble oh, it if you need okay. to. Super. Because with knives, we can never find the right Torx wrench. Yes. <laughs> so we have this in gray and black. We have this one, which is this, these are all the same model. This is desert gray and black. We have this one, which is OD green and black. And then for the classy people, we have Rosewood. Beautiful. And that's our ready model. Okay. The next up, we have our chibs. So same thing here. We have Sandvik 14C steel. Okay. We have G10 handles. And of course we have our ball, bear ball bearing swivels. Now the locking mechanism for this one is a liner lock. Ah, oh, okay. As so. With this, we have a flipper here. Okay. Just like so, very smooth. So that ball bearing really helps with how smooth that yeah. you feel of it. So with this model, we currently have the, uh, the desert yellow, desert brown, desert yellow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we cut it out. Sorry. <laughs> Take it out and post. All right, desert tan and black. Okay. We have OD and black. And once again, for the classy people, we have our rosewood. rosewood. This, currently, we have it without the flipper. Correct. Um, this one, so with the rosewood, we did it change out to the to the axis lock. lock. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All models with rosewood has axle lock. Currently. That could change in the future. Okay. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so next up is actually a new line for us. This is the 07. And what we have here, once again, all of them have the ball bearing swivels. They will have the axis locks. And what we change is the steel. This is going to be a 440C steel to help keep the price down. One of the main things with Williamson Copenhagen Mikkel Willemsen, who's our designer, for 25 years, he's been designing custom blades, individual for people, for 25 years. And when somebody does that, that's a big price tag. Yeah. Thousands of euros per blade. Yeah. But after 25 years, he's decided, I want to get my blades in more people's hands. How do I do that? So we go to production run. So price is a big thing for us, yeah. right? We want good quality good designs in a lower cost. With this, we went with this 440C steel to help keep the price down. We have, but we also have, as I said, we're not gonna chimp out, we're not going to reduce it by not using the ball bearing swivel. So we all have ball bearing swivel, axis lock. The handle material 
is fiberglass reinforced nylon. Okay. With these, you're going to get a wire clip that match the blade. Yeah, and you can change it for, for the left hand people. Once again, yeah. you can change it left or right hand. But still, right. very smooth. Yeah. This is the zero 07. Zero 07. Yeah. Special for you guys only. Oh, This yeah. is a prototype. <laughs> so it's not out on the market, but you're going to see it here first. This is the zero 07, but with a Tonto tip. Wow. Yeah, so we didn't make these. This is brand new that we want we want to come out with. And as you can see here, prototype. But this everything's the same on that as in the other ones. Very smooth. Yeah. Here we have the Paragon. This is a fixed blade that we carry. All of our all of the Williamson all of our blades are either 12 centimeters or below. Okay. So this one right here is 12 centimeters. The steel we're using is Aus 8. Aus 8, yeah. If you can see that. The handles, all G10. And it comes in three separate colors, as you can see here. Okay. Now, with these blades, you also get a Kydex sheath. This Kydex sheath also comes with a tech lock. And all the wonderful things that come yeah. along with the tech lock. So, and the gold line, especially for the Russian people. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is for anybody who likes James Bond movies. Okay. Goldfinger, no? Go Goldfinger, Goldfinger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have our bird dog. Bird so, this fixed blade has 440C steel. The handles are made of packa wood. Are you familiar with Paco yes, wood? Yes, yes. Oh, great. So for those of you who are not who don't know about Paco wood, this is resin impregnated wood to help keep for moisture and to help water resistance and also to make it more strong and more durable. Once again, this is well below 12 centimeters, so no problem. No problem. Each one of these come with a leather sheath. Emblazing with the Wilmson Copenhagen logo, of course. <laughs> so that is our bird dog. This for the for the hunting people and for the. Oh, yes. Pfeilgeschichte uh, gibt's ja auch. Fire steel hat er ja hier. This for the fire steel. Oh, look at you! Yeah, yeah absolutely. And this this is for the. Wie sagt man nochmal Bogensport? Um, Arrow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me tell you, this part right here is the biggest question mark for people. Ah, I, 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 this is for the, when you're under fire and you want to put ah, the, the thing, the, wie sagt man, the body down uh, there. The effect. The effect. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So here, okay. this, what we have here is called the wild one. Wild one, okay. Wild one. So this is definitely made for the bushcrafter, you know, for that woodsman inside of you that wants to come out. This is the blade for you. We're running Sandvik 14C steel. Remember that that 14C steel helped to keep the price down and also good edge retention. Okay. So we have this radius, which is kind of rounded here. And the reason why we have all of a sudden, I don't know if you can see that. You see this section right here? Each one of these comes with a leather case, a leather sheath, which includes the dangler, which can be taken off. Each one of these, as you can see Safe. here, yeah. we have a ferrocium rod, also known as a ferro rod. One of the things that make bushcrafters cringe, they make, oh, oh, is that you know you need a sharp edge to go against a ferro rod. Yeah. They'll use the edge and you're like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so this part right, part right here, although this is rounded, this is a 90 degree angle, which is very sharp and therefore strike that way all right so that's what that's used for we also have this part right here which like i said before a lot of people are like what is that so people say oh it's for the fire seal yeah. nine it this is way too way too radius yeah. you know, it's not sharp enough so if you like coffee or you're cooking over your fire and you have a wire handle 
that you're hanging it by, you just take this, take it off the fire with this. Multifunctional. So this is the bird dog and, or I'm sorry, this is the wild one and our handle material looks really nice. That's pack of wood as well. So it'll help with water resistance and keep it a lot stronger. And the sheet is very nice make it. Well, thank you very much. So it's a nice hard leather, comes with an extra lanyard. Yeah. So if you're hanging it and you end up wanting to attach this around the leg to make sure it doesn't go flying out, you can do that as well. And the price for the... The price uh, for these, these come in retail 110 euro. Okay, that's Which okay. still is not bad yeah. for, a, no. for a blade like that. For this and with the file stick. Leather sheath. Uh, ferro rod blade and everything included so that's this is our wild one comes in wild two one. different colors okay. light stone wash and dark stone wash right all right so the next few products i want to ask a favor these are all prototypes these are models that have not come out yet we're still doing uh changes and modifications to them now there's a few of them and we can't afford to make all of them at the same time. So my question to you, my, uh, my, uh, Meine Frage. Frage? Frage. Frage. Meine Frage, yeah. Meine Frage. I would like to ask you to please write in the comments which one you like the best so we can develop that one first. Also, ihr schreibt. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Ihr schreibt unten rein, welches zuerst kommen soll und wir leiten das dann natürlich weiter, damit die wissen, mit welchem soll man anfangen. Nicht, dass wir mit dem Falschen angefangen haben und dann sagt, ah, eigentlich hätten wir lieber das andere zuerst gehabt. Also schreibt unten rein in die Kommentare, wir leiten es dann weiter an die Jungs und dann kommt auch das hoffentlich zustande, was ihr zuerst wollt. Hi. Wird natürlich weltweit gefragt, das heißt, welcher Markt größer ist, gewinnt. So you're seeing these first. Here we go. The first one. This is based off of our bird dog that we showed before. The difference is this is a folding bird dog. With axle lock. We got the axis lock. We've got the ball bearing swivel. This is G10. So we're running G10 on this because it's my because it's a prototype we don't know if we're going to keep this what kind of steel we're going to use but if you like this design if you like the bird dog and you like a folding model this is the one to do so that's the first one. sticking with the bird dog model this is more of a tactical bird dog once again a lot of them you'll see prototype on there yeah. currently it's 440c but that could change if you like this design this is what you want to put down. And we'll go over each one, run through them fast at the end. Ihr müsst dann vielleicht noch mal zurückspulen, dass ihr die Namen noch alle im Kopf habt, weil es kommen noch ein paar Messer. Anhalten, aufschreiben, damit ihr es dann nachher richtig unten reinschreibt. Up next, we have no idea what we're going to call this one. So this is totally unknown. Okay. So with this one, this is like a combination between a bushcraft knife and a tactical knife. So now instead of going G10 on the handle, we went with a micarta on this one. So this is prototype. Prototype. Okay. Da müssen wir dem Ganzen natürlich einen Namen geben. Dann machen wir hier uh, Bushcraft Tech. Schreibt Bushcraft Tech rein, dann wissen wir, dass das gemeint war. Up next is in the past we had a model called a Tyron and this body shape right here, this handle shape, the blade profile, this is pretty much what the Tyron was. But it looks a little different with the handle. So the handle is going to be a little bit more flat as of right now. But a lot of people said it's a sexy shape. Yeah. So this one is, we're running it currently with a wire clip and it's going to have a frame lock. Now, as you can see, part of the frame is cut away and goes into the blade itself. So what you do is pushes the side, blade closes. We're gonna add a flipper on it, opens like such. Thank you for the ball bearing swivel to make it nice and smooth. All right. Yeah, that's great. That, this this one, I like. This is well, one that's <laughs> becoming very popular. People are just looking at it. So 
we're calling this one the Demon Barber. The Demon Barber. <laughs> the Demon Barber. With this one, we're not bothered with exactly what kind of metal, uh, steel we're going to use, but this is actually a folder with a liner lock. Yeah. We've already thought about different things we can do to it, but we're pretty sure we're going to use the carbon graphite scales on this. It makes it very classy. Yeah. Right? So this we're going to open like such. Now what we're going to do to make it easier currently, if you see right here, it's very, it's very close. We're going to extend it a little bit. We don't want it too far out because we feel it kind of takes away from it. We're going to extend it out a little bit so you have something a little bit more to kind of grab onto yeah. to open it. We're also going to put on a wire clip. So if you wanted to use it for an EDC, you do that too. The other thing is, you know what? It's beautiful, but I think it needs a little splash of color. So we're going to take this pin and we're going to make that a blue. So blue. Yeah, that's great. I think just a little bit of color to really yeah. make it pop. All right. So this is our Demon Barber. So now if we look down here to all of these, I'm going to go through each one and I'm going to tell you what to put if you like it. Yeah, my favorite is this. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so if you like this one, put it down in the comments. Hashtag folding bird dog. If you like this one, hashtag tactical bird dog. If you like this one, mm, hashtag unknown. Bush, we don't have a name. Bush tag. Bush tag? You could say mix from the bushcraft and from the tactical dog. Bush tag. Bush tag. We might use that name, sir. I'll give you credit for that. No. Okay. <laughs> so this one. This one is going to be hashtag bush tack. This one is going to be hashtag Tyron, and that's spelled T Y R O N. So hashtag Tyron. And this one, you can kind of guess what that's going to be. This one's going to be hashtag Demon Barber. How would you say Demon Barber in German? Dämonischer Barber. Dämonischer Rasierer Barbier. All right, so you got to say it, but I want you to feel it. Say it. Demon Barber, like make it eerie, like you know, Demon Barber. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so these are all prototypes, and we'd love to get your input on what do you think should be the next one that we design, that we put out. So, thank you so much. So for me, it's this. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for having. Me. I, I really thank appreciate you. It. That was very great. Oh, cool. thank you. So, my jungs, my mails, you have seen. Schreibt es unten rein, seid so gut, dass wir wissen, was soll kommen. Mich interessiert es auch. Wenn ihr mir einen Gefallen tut, mm. das bitte. Ansonsten die anderen, was euch gefällt. Ich wünsche euch noch eine gute Zeit. Wir sind für euch noch auf der Messe unterwegs. Bis zum nächsten Video. Euer Jens von der Messerschmiede Kubesch. Ciao.